Hey guys, welcome back to another video. We're gonna change it up a little bit this time, and today we'll be doing a horror podcast. There will be three stories, ghost stories. One will be real, the other two will be fake. You have to guess the real one in the comments below. Whoever gets it right gets a shout out. So, I'll get right into it after this short break. Okay, and we're back. So the first story starts out. These two young boys, they love going ghost adventure, ghost, like ghost hunting. And, um, one day, everything would change. So they grabbed their gear because they bought a bunch of merchandise from Ghost Adventurers. Still a great show. But, um, they grab their gear and head out to this old haunted house where their neighbor... I'm, for privacy reasons, I'm not going to say her name because it says here, but, uh, she was killed from, like, a toxin released into the air. So they go into the house, everything seems fine, they're searching, their ghost meter isn't going off, it's, it's one of the things that have the lights and like it'll start beeping if it finds a ghost so they're searching around but once they get into the kitchen they get this like horrid smell and they're waving the thing around and starts beeping right next to the pantry they slowly creak open the pantry door nothing they find nothing one of them steps and looks up. It's about to leave. He takes one foot off the ground. It crashes beneath him. And he's... You don't hear him fall until you hear a big splash. He fell in what's to seem like an old sewer tunnel. And his other friend turns on his flashlight, looks down, yells out, Hey, you okay? No reply. He calls a couple more times. Still no reply. So there's a ladder on the side, he starts climbing down it. Jumps into the puddle. Can't see anything. Pitch darkness. But turns his flashlight on. He sees the ghost of the old woman. And his friend, kneeling down, crying, goes up to his friend, petrified still, touches his shoulder. And what he feels is unhuman. His hand passed right through his shoulder. His friend was killed. And the old woman was laying there. As a ghost, so was his best friend, who they had so many childhood memories. When he hears yelling from the top, You okay? Looks up, it's his best friend. But how? How does this work? Looks back, old woman is there, crooked smile, head cracked back before letting out this maniacal laughter and they're both so terrified he tries to run up the ladder but the second he gets to the top he puts his foot down it snaps he's sent falling down the hole before getting his hand grabbed and pulled back up and let's just say that was the last day they ever went ghost adventuring they never did find out what that whole bottom was. But two years later, saw it on the news that an adventurer just like them, fallen down, never came back up. 
So that's the end of story number one. Um, I usually have like a co-host here with me, but this time it's just me. Okay, next story. This man, he's in his 20s, early 20s, and he's going to college. And he loves to party. Like, at, he's like a partier. And he has his roommate, two other guys, and he only knew one of them. The other person they found, he kind of like posted, made a post on Facebook, and like someone could accept to be their roommate. So that's what ends up happening. But one day, his life will change. He goes out, he's walking back from another party when he hears Mr. Mister, can can you help me find my mom? He turns around slowly. It's this child who's wearing a tuxedo, it looks like, but, like, tattered and ripped up. And he goes, she, she, she left me here. And he watches too many horror movies thinking that, oh, he's just a demon of some sort but that was one of the biggest mistakes he made he said no I'm sorry I, I have a test to go to the kid goes alright fine I'll let my mom know you didn't help me just kinda like shifts back into the darkness and at this point the guy is terrified. He dashes into his dorm room slams the door and he's hyperventilating his roommates are, are like jolted awake. He's like, they ask him what's wrong. He goes, I think I just met a ghost. He would be right. But what happens next is terrifying. So, goes to bed, praying, and just like hoping for the best. Wakes up. Both his roommates, or not both of them, one is sitting in a desk, drawing, animating. The other one's gone. And the one who's drawing is his, one of his closest friends that he's known. And he asks him if he said anything weird last night. He slowly turns his head. He goes, don't leave the dorm room. He goes, I, you've never acted like this. What's up with you? The friend saw some stuff later that night. Got a call from his mom that she, she had fallen down the stairs. And he runs out. And there's this creature. It's unhumanly. It looks like the body of a spider with the like head of... like. A mother, black lipstick, eyeliner, and she said, were you the one who didn't help my child? He goes, no, I just got a call from my mom, I'm going to help her. She goes, okay. Runs out of there, like, he's crying, he's shaking, and the guy is scared to leave the room now because he had a date today, and he didn't want to, like, ghost the girl, so he goes out, they goes out for the date, on their way home, he walks her home, then he's walking back to his room, he sees the figure, the thing, it, it's with its child this time, child goes, mommy, mommy, that, that's the man, the thing crawls up to him, have you seen my child he's jolted awake eyes bags under his eyes he's in a hospital bed apparently that night he was knocked out and robbed but he thinks something else happened what do you guys think anyways 
on to story number three. And I got a little game before we move in, because this is all inspired by Coulter35, uh, TMOL, the True Myth One Lie. So I'm going to give him a shout out down below. But um, if you had to choose one like horror villain to live with for the rest of your life, who would it be? And it can't be like... It can't be Mr. Jen Jenkins from, like, Scooby-Doo. I'm talking about Ghostface, Pennywise, Pinheads, stuff like that. But anyways, let's get into my third story. So, this man just recently moved out of his house. He's been a happy married couple for around 20 years. And their kids have moved out. So he's unpacking, and he goes off to work shoveling and shoveling and shoveling these works at one of those things where he has to shovel coal into this big basket and then ship it out and then just repeat 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 till then he gets home grabs a book starts reading some it's his favorite book some of the pages are torn out and he's thinking oh maybe the dog ate it Closes the book, sets it on his nightstand, goes to bed. And before he fa finally falls asleep, he goes and he hears this voice. Raspy voice. He goes, I know you. I know who you are. And he opens his eyes, looks around, doesn't see anyone. And his wife is up right next to him, like, are you okay? Are you sure? He's like, did did you just say something? She goes, no. Why? He goes, never mind. Goes to sleep. Gets up. Goes to work. Starts shoveling and shoveling and shoveling. But they use these plastic shovels with metal at the end. And he goes to shovel when the thing snaps, like the whole, like shovel, like the sh shovel part, and then the head of the shovel snapped off. And so he goes to the back room, brings it in, talks to his boss about it. He's like, "That's been happening with a lot of us recently. Don't don't worry about it. We're getting a new order in tomorrow. Just uh, just sweep, I guess." Grabs a broom, starts sweeping and sweeping, then he hears it again. I know you. I know who you are. Turns around, it's his co worker, he's on his phone, talking with his wife. And he goes, Terry, did you say something? He goes, No, I'm just talking to my wife. And it's weird that he hasn't heard him talking unless he just picked up the phone. But after that, gets his keys, starts his car, it won't start. Goes and checks his hood because he's had car problems lately. And right where the exhaust, not exhaust, the engine is supposed to be, there is his lunch pail. And he... Don't I? He doesn't know anyone who can like replace a car battery or take one out. So he checks his trunk, and where he left his lunch pail is now his car battery. Takes the lunch pail out. It's got like grease and oil all over it. Throws in his back. Says, oh, "I'll just wash it." And BC used to be a mechanic. He hooks up the the engine back up to like the wires and everything and starts his car starts driving home wants to listen to some music turns it on and he just hears hears it again i know you i know who you are he goes nope turns the radio off when he gets home opens his closet to change out of his clothes right there Blue jeans, nice dress shoes, white shirt, two pens in his pockets, brown glasses, shifty brown hair, right there. 
and just fades away. Next morning, he's, he has a day off of work because it's a Saturday, and he runs across the street and is frantically, like, asking his neighbor, who used to live in that house? What did they wear? He's like, who, Mr. Jenkins? I'm changing their names, of course. Uh, Mr. Jenkins. He goes, yeah. What what did he used to wear? He goes, here, I have a photo of him. Me and him were, like, really good friends before he passed away. Shows him a photo. Same exact man. Blue jeans. Dress shoes. White coat. Two pens. Glasses. And hair. He's horrified. And he says, I just saw him as a ghost. He goes... That's the end of the story. This is a pilot episode for the podcast, but remember, go give Coulter35 some love because I I was inspired by him to do this podcast. So if you like it, drop a like, sub, comment, what which one you think is real. If you get it right, uh, then you get a shout out. But number one is Ghost, like Ghost Hunters and... Like, stuff gets tripped out, and mind stuff with an old lady ghost. Story number two, college campus. He doesn't help this child, and this spider-looking mother-type ghost, uh, like, scares him, and he wakes up in the hospital. Then story number three is, uh is the one where the man is working, he gets back from, he has like car troubles, someone replaced his engine with a lunch, with his lunch pail, and uh, when he gets home he sees Mr. Jenkins in white coat, blue jeans, dress shoes, hair, glasses, but let me know which one you think is real, like I said again, if you get it right, you get a shout out. And let me know your um, your answer to the mini game. If you answer it, I'll heart your comment. But other than that, I'll see you guys later. Bye.